In this video, you'll be introduced to a very important number in statistics, the correlation coefficient. In a previous video, we spoke about surveying eight women, asking them their miles walked per day and their weight in kilograms. We graphed the survey results and got the scatter plot shown here. Examining this graph by eye, we determined that there appears to be a strong linear correlation, but to be sure of exactly how strong that correlation is, we can calculate a number called the correlation coefficient. The correlation coefficient is a number that tells us how closely clustered our points are to the best fit line for our data. The correlation coefficient, otherwise known as r, is a number between negative 1 and 1. If r is equal to 0, there is no correlation. If r is equal to positive 1, there is a perfect positive correlation. If r is equal to negative 1, there is a perfect negative correlation. However, it is rare that there is absolutely no correlation or a perfect correlation. The closer the correlation coefficient is to 1 on the positive side, the stronger the correlation and the closer to zero, the weaker the correlation. The closer the correlation coefficient is to negative one on the negative side, the stronger the correlation. And the closer to zero, the weaker the correlation. So for example, if R is 0.1, there is a weak positive correlation. If R is negative 0.98, there is a strong negative correlation. And if r is equal to 0.51, there is a moderate positive correlation. So now you must be wondering, how do we calculate the correlation coefficient r? There are quite a few options, some of which I'll explain in our upcoming videos. We can use a Google spreadsheet or Excel. We can use the TI-84 calculator or another calculator with statistics capabilities. We can use the formula below utilizing z-scores of our data or other equivalent formulas. All methods, if used correctly, will get you the same correlation coefficient value. By using my TI-84, I got the correlation coefficient for this data to be negative 0.981. I'll show you how to get that number in our next video. But for now, let's interpret what this means. Since r is negative, the correlation is negative. Since it's close to negative 1, the correlation is strong. And based on the shape that we got from our scatter plot, we can say that there is a linear correlation. There is a strong, negative, linear correlation. Here's what we've learned in this video. The correlation coefficient tells us the strength of the relationship between two quantitative variables. The correlation coefficient lies between negative 1 and 1. If r is close to 1 or negative 1, there is a strong correlation. If r is close to 0, there is a weak correlation. The correlation coefficient can be calculated using various tools and formulas.